All right, everybody, Dexter back here again. This time I'm going to show you the Zodiac box version. So this uses exactly the same equipment, which is a laptop, the touchscreen that is uh, running off of the laptop, one show node, and then everything is going into this box. So uh, we're going to interact not only with the touchscreen, but with the physical items in the box. So here we go. This is the attract music, so it just plays while people are walking by. And of course, if you want to start the game, you just touch the button. Here we go. This is the Zodiac speaking. Over 50 years ago, I completely disappeared. A calculated leave of absence. But I can no longer control myself. It's time for me to come out of retirement. If you've forgotten about me, allow me to refresh your memory. Well, Sheriff, what type of person is this man? Well, we have reason to believe that he's a maniac. Uh, he, however, he is a cunning man. He knows just exactly what moves he's going to make. He knows uh, where he's going to be from one minute to the next. He knows where he's going to start and when he's going to end. Uh, it appears to us that he is killing just for the thrill of killing. I'm offering you a one-time chance. I will give you five minutes using the evidence that I showed you to figure out who I am. If you're successful, I will turn myself in. If not, I will pick up where I left off. You may have noticed the box in front of you on the table. Everything that you need to catch me is located inside. Here, let me get you started. The clock is ticking. And now the game starts. So the box automatically opens on its own, and everything that you need is inside. So located inside the box is uh, not only a keypad, uh, but uh, there's a, a toggle switch up here with some lights. Uh, this is actually a speaker box, so there are sound coming out of the box, which is a really cool feature. The show node allows me to play sounds directly from the node that are not coming out of the computer. So really, really cool and very versatile stuff. Uh, there's also a, uh, a stack of police IDs in here, there's a locked box, and there is a manila folder with police reports. So the first question is the ID and badge number for his second strike. Inside the manila envelope, there are four police reports, and there's the Zodiac cipher. So we'll get to the Zodiac cipher at the end here. If you go through, you will find that the second strike was actually, I'll grab my glasses here so I can see, the second strike was actually in uh, the city of, of Viejo. So if you put in, the, the player puts in the wrong one, let's say they decide that they're going to put in uh, this guy right here from Napa. They scan the ID, it says right here, scan here, and then press the enter, uh, and his badge number is 682471, enter, Again, a wrong answer. No, not even close. Start taking this seriously, or the blood will run. So like in the touchscreen version, you will get uh, a wrong answer. The, the killer will come on, and he will waste your time. The correct answer is right here. It's uh, Trevor Lynch. Scan the ID. And badge number 74882. You're not now that police call actually came from inside the box, and now we have flashing lights in the box. Second question, watch the lights, do they match anything in the box? Well, each of these police IDs has a, a, a colored dot with a number in it. So if you watch the pattern of the flashing lights, you will see that it is red, yellow, blue, green, so that makes 4132. And that tells you 827. And then moves on to the very next or the last puzzle. 827 is the combination for the lock on the box. And inside. is a, a question from the Zodiac. 
and it is saying that, uh, did you get the cipher that I sent you? My name is, and then it has, again, his cipher code. From the police file report, you grab the cipher, and you start matching the two up, which in this particular case, unlike the other one, his name is Robert Tarbox, which was another suspect in the uh, Zodiac killings. So again, if you let the time run out, you will have the killer pop up on the screen and tell you that uh, that basically he's uh, he's going to go back to killing and it's all thanks to you. Uh, but if you type in his name in the, the correct amount of time, R-O-B-E-R-T-T-A-R-B-O-X. And again, the game is won with one minute and three seconds left. One of the other cool things about the box that, uh, that I haven't mentioned yet, and I will stop this music so you can hear, is there is a toggle switch inside. Now, I can do a lot of different things with that toggle switch, but just for the fun of it, uh, I made it to where it was pretty much a jukebox. So if you flip the switch, it will start playing a song. Now, obviously, I'm not going to sit here and let the entire song play out, but if you listen to it very carefully... It's the song Goodbye Horses, which is from Silence of the Lambs. If you turn the switch off and turn it back on, you will now get Helter Skelter, which obviously that's uh, uh, Charlie Manson. And if you turn it off again and turn it back on, Angel of Death by Slayer. So just wanted to show you how versatile this is one switch can do many different things. I can literally control anything from this box or from the screen. I can have them do multiple things at the same time. Sound, lights, motion. Um, uh, literally, the possibilities are endless. So I hope you guys really enjoy this. Thank you very much for your time.